there are discoveries that challenge our understanding of the universe, and then there are those that shake the very foundation of what we thought was possible. What if I told you that a single leaked image captured in complete secrecy could hold evidence of something not just unnatural, but potentially engineered, something that isn't supposed to be there? The James Webb Space Telescope, known for delivering the clearest cosmic portraits humanity has ever seen, has just leaked an image of an object so mysterious, so unlike anything ever recorded, that NASA scientists were reportedly urged to classify it immediately. But that didn't stop the truth from slipping through. This is not science fiction. This is 3i Atlas, a visitor from beyond our solar system doing things that no natural object should ever do. And what the James Webb Telescope just saw might confirm our deepest fears. Stay with me because this cosmic enigma is only beginning to unfold the leaked image that has set the A astronomical community ablaze comes from a high-resolution capture by the James Webb Telescope during its observational sweep in the infrared spectrum. What it shows is chilling. Threat I Atlas, originally thought to be a comet, is emitting a concentrated beam of light from what appears to be its sun-facing side. Not a diffuse reflection, not solar flare illumination, a focused projection. The beam cuts through space, sharply contrasting the usual hazy glow we see around comet objects. More alarmingly, this image shows structural symmetry around the core. This symmetry with precise 120 dead angles, resembling a hexagonal geometry, doesn't belong in a chaotic natural rock drifting through space. Scientists at the European Southern Observatory described it off record as mechanical in nature. Is this some kind of cosmic artifact, or are we seeing something far more advanced than any natural process can account for? Whatever it is, it's behaving in ways that have left top astronomers dumbfounded. A comet's tail is supposed to flow away from the sun, driven by solar radiation. That's a fundamental law of physics, until now. Thrento Atlas has shattered that principle. Its tail flows directly toward the sun, defying every known physical model. Early hypotheses suggested extreme anisotropic dust jets, but simulations ruled that out due to the symmetrical pattern in the tail's flow. Then came the web data. The tail appears to emit in pulsed intervals, almost like bursts synchronized with the object's 16-hour rotation. These intervals show thermal spikes followed by drops, which align with artificial propulsion cycles, not natural gas venting. Even more puzzling is the fact that this tail contains reflective particles that mirror solar wavelengths, rather than absorbing them like cosmic dust normally does. In other words, it's not just reflecting sunlight, it's manipulating it. Is it possible we're seeing some form of solar sail or radiation-based steering? And if so, who or what would engineer such a thing? There's randomness in the cosmos, but 3i Atlas's path through our solar system is anything but random. After entering from above the ecliptic plane, it takes a slingshot tour of Mars, Venus and Jupiter, almost mimicking the trajectory NASA designs for deep space missions. Harvard astrophysicist Avi Loeb, no stranger to controversy, suggested this might be a gravity assist chain like those used by the Voyager spacecraft to conserve fuel. Only this object isn't slowing down, it's accelerating. Its route is mathematically ideal for dropping observation units or probes at multiple planets without altering course. That kind of planning takes knowledge, strategic intent, and the probability of such a trajectory occurring by chance is less than one in a billion. As if that weren't strange enough, the object will vanish behind the sun precisely at its brightest and most active phase, exactly when Earth's telescopes can't observe it. It's as if it wants to remain unseen. Why has there been no official word from the US Space Command or other planetary defense agencies. 3.i Atlas is the fastest, largest interstellar object ever detected, and yet the military is eerily silent. Leaked reports from URO, the All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office, suggest that the object is being used in live simulations for planetary threat scenarios. In other words, this could be a dry run, a rehearsal. But for what? Some defense analysts believe that its extreme speed and artificial behavior make it a perfect candidate for a reconnaissance probe or autonomous surveyor from another civilization. And since no craft on Earth could intercept it due to its 130,000 mph velocity, the situation has become an observer's dilemma. All we can do is watch and wait. Behind closed doors, high-level meetings are reportedly being held, not just about what 3Y Atlas is, 
but about what to do if it sends a signal or worse, if it changes course. Upon closer inspection of the leaked image, a group of independent researchers discovered something even more disturbing, an almost imperceptible geometric imprint near the object's luminous region. It wasn't visible in natural light, but Webb's advanced infrared capabilities revealed it clearly, a triangular formation with a central void surrounded by perfectly spaced concentric arcs. At first glance, it seemed like noise or a sensor artifact, but its precision, location, and the way it shifted consistently with the object's rotation ruled that out. The pattern bore eerie resemblance to ancient Earth symbols, specifically to those found in ancient Sumerian and Vedic diagrams that some fringe theorists associate with contact law. Mainstream science scoffed, of course, but the pattern remained undeniable and unexplained. Whether it's a design element or an emblem, the fact that it exists at all implies one terrifying possibility. This object was built. Can someone or something left their mark on it? Like an engineer's insignia staring directly into Webb's lens. As more observatories tried to gather their own data, something unusual began to happen. Several received cease and desist notices from governmental authorities, citing airspace protocol and civilian data security. Even private space startups with orbital telescopes reported sudden connectivity issues or revoked access to their deep space imaging APIs. Meanwhile, diplomatic cables leaked by whistleblowers revealed that the United Nations Office for Outer Space Affairs had held an unscheduled closed-door meeting with delegates from the five major spacefaring nations. The topic, an unidentified technological object with interstellar origin. Russia, China, the United States, India, and the European Union all issued a joint silence protocol, allegedly agreeing to withhold any future disclosures unless unanimous. In other words, we're not just dealing with a scientific anomaly, we're watching a geopolitical chess game unfold around a cosmic visitor, and when the world's most powerful nations stop fighting for data and instead choose secrecy, something very big is being hidden. Then came the most unsettling development. Webb's next attempt to observe 3 by Atlas, scheduled only days after the leaked image, was aborted. The reason? According to internal memos, the telescope's autonomous tracking software initiated a focus lock refusal. That is, the telescope's AI refused to align and fixate on the object. Engineers were baffled. Nothing like this had ever happened. It was as if the telescope, programmed to target anything, chose not to. Simultaneously, at least three amateur astronomers reported seeing brief erratic flashes in the part of the sky where the object should have been. Flashes unlike any stellar body and timed almost rhythmically. One observer claimed the flashes appeared as if a camera flash had been turned toward us from the void. Could it be possible that 3 I Atlas knows it's being watched? Could it be capable of optical manipulation or even defensive countermeasures? What if this probe doesn't just travel, but observes the observers? Now here's where the story turns from scientific mystery to full-blown conspiracy. The image that sparked the entire firestorm wasn't supposed to exist. It wasn't scheduled. It wasn't cleared. And it didn't pass through the normal channels of the Space Telescope Science Institute. The metadata shows it came from a remote operations session, an automated backup image captured during a diagnostic sweep, likely meant for calibration. This raises two enormous questions. First, how did it get out? And second, how many more images exist that we'll never see? Some believe a whistleblower inside the web program intentionally leaked it, possibly at great personal risk. Others think it was a cyber intrusion from an outside actor, perhaps even a hostile state, interested in weaponizing whatever knowledge the image contains. But the most disturbing theory, that the leak was intentional, not from Earth but from the object itself, that we were meant to see that image, that it wasn't a mistake, it was an invitation. Shortly after the leaked image went viral, deep space monitoring stations across multiple continents began reporting anomalies, not just in data, but in hardware itself. Spectrometers failed to calibrate. Gyroscopes in both space-based and ground telescopes began drifting out of sync. Radio signals bounced unpredictably from the region of space where 3 I Atlas was last spotted. This wasn't just electromagnetic interference, it was something stranger, an invisible zone of disruption, 
as if space-time itself had become unstable around the object. And then satellites began failing. One by one, low-orbit CubeSats meant to monitor solar activity started going dark as they passed near the projected path of the object. Engineers couldn't explain it. It was as if something near 3i Atlas was absorbing energy, not emitting it. As if the object wasn't just observing, but feeding.